With ever-growing population and traffic, each person on the planet wants to complete their long journeys faster, in turn, saving more time. With magnetic levitation hyperloop, looming around the corner in the next decade, this is no longer, a pipe dream. Hyperloop, with a speed of, 700 miles an hour, in floating pod which races along inside giant low-pressure tubes, is being touted as the fastest mode of transport, to connect multiple cities, slashing the travel time from hours to, just a couple of minutes. This great idea of Hyperloop, was first, conceived by a tech genius named, Elon Musk in 2012, and has been referred to as, fifth mode of transport. The Hyperloop Alpha concept, was first published, in August 2013, and has been explicitly open sourced by Musk, and SpaceX, to encourage others to bring in their bold ideas, as he was running both Tesla, and SpaceX, and didn't have time to remake yet another industry. So he encouraged anyone interested, to have a go. Soon after Musk's idea, hit the internet, a handful of companies sprung up, bringing together engineers, and money to solve the problems for real. The most serious among them, was LA-based Virgin Hyperloop 1. So, let's move on with the video, and see how Hyperloop will reshape the future. Few countries have shown interest, to build the first Hyperloop system, in the world. Leading among them was India. The government of Indian state of Maharashtra, has approved Virgin Hyperloop 1's plans, to develop a high-speed line between Mumbai, and Pune, which could become, the world's, first Hyperloop. It would cut the travel time, from the current 180 minutes, to just 20 minutes, making it just a joy ride, between the two cities. But, this proposal has been slowed down, due to changing political scenario in the state. However the project is still intact. To decide on the next routes, Virgin Hyperloop head, Richard Branson, met with the union minister to propose the next route, connecting two major cities, Mumbai, and New Delhi. Assuming all goes well, an operational demonstration track, will be built between two points, on the route, two to three years from the signing of the agreement and serve as a platform for testing. Elsewhere in the world, the company is also working on a feasibility study into a hyperloop route linking Kansas City, Columbia, and St. Louis running along the I-70 in Missouri, and is looking at high-level cost estimate and funding model recommendations. In December 2019, the company said it had completed its third phase of testing, achieving test speeds of 387 km per hour in a 500-meter long dev loop, in Nevada district. After this, the project gazed the interest of the oil-rich, Gulf countries. Saudi Arabia, jumped into the fray, and is in fast talks with Virgin Hyperloop 1, preparing to build a manufacturing plant, and 35-kilometer test track, the longest so far, north of Jeddah. It basically, aims to connect the major Gulf cities, and carry 45 million passengers each year, with journey times under an hour. Such a solar-powered project, would go well, with the United Arab Emirates. Strategy for 50% renewable energy, by 2050. However, Virgin Hyperloop 1 is not the only player in the Middle East, its other competitor, Hyperloop Transportation Technologies, is looking to make operational, 10km length of track, in the United Arab Emirates, by Expo 2020. Transpod is another contender, and released a study that predicted that a Transpod Hyperloop system would cost 30% less than high-speed rail lines in Europe. It also said, a Hyperloop will cost 50% less and travel four times faster, than high-speed rail between Toronto, and Montreal, in Canada. At such amazing speeds, traveling around large geographical land of Canada, will just become a treat. Currently, Transpod is building a new 3-kilometer long test track, in Limoges, France. The results of the program, will inform the construction, of a working prototype, of the Transpod's Hyperloop, vacuum train. However, Hyperloop's future seems more promising, with Hyperloop Transportation Technologies, in the United States. Where they are proposing to link Chicago, with Cleveland, and Pittsburgh. This Great Lakes corridor, sees tens of millions, of journeys, made between the cities, and significant passenger, and freight expansion, is projected over the next 25 years. An astonishing, Hyperloop journey from Chicago to Cleveland, would take just over half an hour providing a huge boost to the economy, and potentially creating a labor market, where people could live in one city while working in another. Taking into consideration, all the environment, and governmental factors, Hyperloop Transportation Technologies, hopes to have the route, operational by 2028. Similarly in other parts of North America, 
proposals to construct a hyperloop between Mexico City and Guadalajara, cutting the six-hour car journey to just 38 minutes. European countries are also not far behind in their race to build their own hyperloop system. They are looking for testing tracks to become operational in two to three years down the line and get the full hyperloop serving the people operational in eight to ten years. For a technology that Elon Musk once said would deliver a smooth as glass passenger experience has so far faced certain roadblocks, but with the technological advancements in testing, Hyperloop is picking up speed and gaining attraction and in the next 10 years or so, Hyperloop welcoming passengers is no longer a pipe dream.